So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Isaac, and today in this video we are going to be creating an MDT task sequence. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deploying that and installing it. So first, what I'm going to do, this is just going to be for a normal client, not joined to the main, not a professional, just a home premium standard one. As um, as you can see here, I've already imported all the operating systems. And previously, I've already done it with uh, Windows 7 Professional, here it is, my task sequence for that. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to create a home premium one, because one of the people that I work with has got a computer and it came with home premium, so we're just going to install that. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new task sequence, um, 0002, task sequence name, just call it Windows 7. Home. Next, so it's just going to be a standard client task sequence. And then we want to create, we want to click Home Premium. Next, we're not going to uh, specify a product key because it's an already activated Windows. So we're just going to enter my name here. Organization is my company. Okay, next, we're not going to specify an admin password, actually yeah we will, because why not, more secure. Next, and you just want to click next, and then finish. So now that's all ready and up, all we're going to do is update our deployment share, and this will take a couple of minutes. So I will be back once it has done, as you can see it's done, we've just updated it. So finish and then what you're going to want to do is come down to uh, BDS, one of the deployment services and then what you want to do is come down to your servers, my server. In here we have our boot images, so we've already got two boot images here, but what I tend to do is just delete, uh, replace at 64, so that's done. Next, next, next. Just going to replace that. Shouldn't take too long. Nearly done now. So click finish, and we're just going to update my x64 one. Browse, and where you're going to find these lighttouchpe.wim files is you go to your wherever you've stored your deployment share in the boot, and here they are. Open next, 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 next. And we'll just go through that. And it won't take it would just take the same amount of time as you go on, hopefully. And we've got two X sixty eight X eighty six and X sixty four. Because X eighty six is for like small little Windows laptops, tablets, sort of X64 is more advanced than uh, can uh, run any sort of software. In the future, I will be doing, I will be deploying Windows 10 for test purposes. But at the minute, we're just going to stick with Windows 7 because it's more stable. Even though um, companies have been upgrading to Windows 10, I don't think it's. Uh, Good enough to upgrade to that yet. So, it's 
nearly done. There we go, so it's done. So now them two are in here, and as you can see, the date on them is now a bit apart. So now we've done that, all I would do now is go to all tasks, restart the services. So now they've restarted. So I will come back on my GoPro showing you how to install that. Right guys, so I'm just gonna, I'm back now. So all I'm gonna do is I've just created a virtual machine. I just my service on a virtual machine here. That's uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 activated. And that's been on for two days. So we're just gonna load this one up. Uh, start. It'll automatically network boot. But then we'll have to press F12 once to get an IP address. F12. So as you can see, it's just going to boot from my server here. You can see our IP address is 63, and then the DHCP is 53. Shouldn't be too long now. So you want to click X68, 64. Sorry. This will just load up now. As you can see, it's boot X64 images like touch P. take too long now and uh, when we do this you have to input your administrative credentials for the domain to log in even if you're not joining your computer to the domain but it's just security so no one can actually go in and uh, install the uh, operating system so it shouldn't be too long Sorry I ain't doing this on the screen recorder, I just don't have the software on my uh, Windows laptop at the minute. I, can't, I just recorded that on here, my uh, MacBook, my 12 inch MacBook, so yeah. Here we are Windows Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. Uh, shouldn't be too long, just wait for it to load up. Here it is. It'll ask us for our credentials in a second. So we're just going to click run and it'll ask for my credentials. So I'll just type them in. Let's see something up. So now we're locked in. We can select our task sequences, so we've got our prof professional one here, and our home sequence, so we're just going to select that one. Click next, give it a name, and we'll just leave it as that. We don't want to join it to the domain, but we could do if we wanted to. Next, we're not going to move any user data or settings. No. Next, and then we're going to change this to United Kingdom, and then we're going to just change London. Next, we don't want to install Chrome. We're gonna input our administrator password. So now it's gonna ask us if we want to sysprep this image. So initialize or capture an image of this reference. So specify you where the path where it'll be stored. Uh, we can sysprep it. So the sysprep as usual or compare to capture the machine. So Copy the ESS files and everything, but we're not going to capture this. This is just going to be a normal deployment. No image needs to be captured. Click next. Here are the details of everything and what we're going to be doing. And we're just going to hit begin. So now what that will do is that will just go through the sequence of install and everything. So it's going to just format the partition disk. Like so. It shouldn't be too long this. But I'll come back when we're near the end. So as you can see it's just uh, installed the, it's just restarting, so it's just installed the operating system, so it's going to restart. So the operating system is just restarting now as you can see. It will check for the IP, but then we're not going to press F12 this time. 
because we don't want to network it, so it's just aborting it. Um, it will just load into Windows now. Uh, it won't take too long, this guys. It's fairly quick, actually. Windows deployment service is quite an easy way tool to package up software and uh, package up your OS. So, say if you've got a specific go. software, the specific settings you need, etc., etc., and you want to join it straight to the domain without having to go through every computer, install this, install that, install that. Just F12 it all. Well, you have to set it up in your server, obviously, but then just go around every computer that you want, F12 it all. Go for the MDT and just press begin and it will just install it all for you. But some bits are quite complicated, but once you know what you're doing and what you want to install, it's fairly simple. But what I would do is uh, recommend on YouTube you watch BTN HD. Bernard, he's top tech guy for MDT, he installs Adobe on it, Office, he gives you all the tips and tricks you need for WDS and MDT. So I recommend you go and check him out. I'll leave his link in the in the description below. Go and show him some love. So as you can see it's just installing all and start the services now. Come back when it's installed the device. So the virtual machine is just restarted as it's installed all the device and drivers and it's got the system settings ready. So once it um, restarts or we'll go into the operating system and finish off uh, finishing off any necessary parts of the install that's needed. And then once that the virtual machine or laptop or whatever you've installed it on will be fully ready to do with a fresh copy of Windows on it. As you can see, it's up, so it's set up for the computer for the first use. This won't take very long now, so it'll be fairly quick. So as you can see, it's installed the display drivers now. Get all your drivers ready and uh, set up. And as you can see, we're here. So it'll ask us for a product key, but we're not going to specify a product key in this moment in time. So just going to skip that. As you can see, Home Premium is deployed. It's already got a blue setting pin on the need to do. Just once it's done this, it will lock us in. Actually, it's just logging us in now. And then once, what, what we can do then is we can hand this over to whoever it is and um, give it them and uh, they can have So as you can see guys, the deployment was completely su completed successfully. No errors or warnings were reported and your computer is now ready to use. No details and then we just click finish. So then what I'm going to do is show you the... So this is it guys, Windows 7 Home Premium, that's his name, we're not going to activate it because there's no point, but yeah this is it guys, if you're wanting to activate it, uh, let me just think, we need to go to here, and I'll come back when I uh, activate it. So I just restarted the computer, I'm just going to put in my password and then it should have activated.
Um, wait for everything to load up. Internet access. Yeah. So we'll go to here. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, smash that like button and leave me a comment in the, in the comment section below, uh, so yeah.